everybody it's Ed. All right, so time is 1978. RCA Records is probably scrambling to figure out what can we put out as far as Elvis product goes. And, you know, even though they have countless, countless concerts that had been recorded and could be released uh, in their entirety, they decided that, oh, well, why don't we take all of what we consider to be the best material from Elvis on stage, Elvis at the International, uh, you know, previously really, uh, Elvis at Madison Square Garden, Elvis Aloha from Hawaii, you know, previously released RCA records and put them out as a compilation and title it Elvis's Legendary Concert Performances. And that's exactly what they did. It's exactly what they did. So, uh, the cover for 1978 has that like disco type vibe to it, which is which is kind of weird, but um, okay. Uh, but what, what do we have on here? Well, it is a two record set, and we have Blue Suede Shoes, Sweet Caroline, Burning Love, Runaway, My Babe, and then Johnny Be Good, Yesterday, a medley of Mystery Train with Tiger Man, You Gave Me a Mountain, and Never Been to Spain, Side C is CC Rider. Uh, words, Proud Mary, Walk a Mile in My Shoes, Steamroller Blues, then Side D is Poke Salad Annie, Something, Let It Be Me, and The Impossible Dream, ending it off with My Way. So it, it is an excellent compilation, and it flows. It, it, it's a good flow to it. Um, it's on the standard RCA black label of the day, 1978. Side B, and then we have side C, and then we have side D, and then that's really all I can say about it. I mean, I, I think it's a it's an excellent compilation. It's a really really good release, and I have come across it. Um, I wouldn't say quite often, but. I do remember seeing it out there a few times and don't recall it being terribly expensive. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say you could probably get it around the $5 range, depending on the condition, too. So, um, But yeah, my opinion is I, I, I think it's a good compilation to have and I like the flow of it. And yeah, I mean, at the time, they, they could have just taken other concerts that hadn't been released and and released them but nope nope not really until the ftd stuff or um you know it was uh, some stuff that was released on on a different box set the um the silver box set um uh, that had some unreleased concert material for, at that time that was 1980 um but yeah i i you know again i really can't knock this album the the like I said, I, I, I like the cover, but at the same time, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> it, but it, it does kind of catch your eye. It's really probably the best way to put it. All right, but um, if you have this, let me know what you think. And if you don't have it, if it's something you think you're interested in, then uh, yeah. All right, I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment if you like. Be good to yourselves, good to each other. Take care.